so you did it. You made it through your first year in biology. Yeah. Uh, remember our first video? Hi guys, welcome to your first official flipped video lecture in biology. Yeah, that was annoying. Sorry. So we've made it through labs and we've done all these crazy videos and we've done some projects and you saw a zombie teacher. <laughs> And uh, I think it was a pretty successful year and hopefully you learned a lot. So it's time to take the EOC. I figured I'd shove one more video in your faces before it's time to go. So here we go. We're going to review some of the really, really important stuff uh, that I don't want you to forget ever. Universal genetic code, DNA. Deoxyribonucleic acid. Say it again. Deoxyribonucleic acid. First of all, we know what we've been doing is Mendelian ratios of inheritance. It's based on what Gregor Mendel studied. Mendel made our Punnett squares, our P's, all that stuff. So, lemon juice is a solution with a lot of hydrogen ions. pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. The lower the number, the more hydrogen ions there are. The higher the number, the more hydroxide ions. Remember, most enzymes end with the three letters A, S, E. A lot of sugars end with the letters O, S, E. So sometimes enzymes are taking care of oses. Aces taking care of oses. Make things happen. They get things going. They get stuff started. Now remember when I said enzymes are like molecular scissors? Molecular scissors. Well, helicase is going to be our scissors that's going to cut up the center of our DNA molecule. Homozygote, heterozygote, homozygote, heterozygote. We have our allele big I A. Then we have our allele big I B. And finally, little i. Up to six possible genotypes and four possible blood phenotypes. Now, what's very interesting is that big I B and big I A are both dominant over little i. However, big I, B, and big I, A are co-dominant to each other, effectively permeable. So that means that some things can get in and some things can get out, but not everything. It's kind of like a club. Only the cool kids are going to get into the really cool club. So for pro, let's think pre, like primitive, prokaryotes, before karyotes. Eukaryotes, think like you, like you and me. We're eukaryotes. You! You got it? Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And when you're tired of respiration, let's do some fermentation. When you're tired of respiration, let's do some fermentation to ATP. What? Haploid half. Kind of sounds the same. <laughs> Back when we were talking about cellular transport and how we had to get certain molecules into the cell or out of the cell using active transport and using ATP. Remember, ATP is the cellular money, but it's also energy. We can say that we humans, uh, we have the adaptation of having an opposable thumb, a thumb that can move around and grasp things. Now, this is just a trait that increases fitness. So an adaptation is a trait that increases fitness. Y linked genes only show up in males because only guys have a Y. X-linked recessive genes appear more often in males than in females. Now, females can be carriers for X-linked recessive traits, but males can never be carriers for X-linked traits. They're either normal or they're going to show the trait. Wingardium leviosa. Go rock that test, guys.